Okay, what I'd like to look at right now is a pretty simple thing that a lot of us forget uh, over time, and I know I forgot it until I got into x-ray school, but uh, just uh, how to calculate a percent of increase or decrease. Uh, so I'm looking at these numbers here. It's, it's basically you're going from one, one number to another. You're going to need to take the new number minus the old, divided by the old, and then multiply that times 100 in order to get the percent of increase. Uh, if it's a decrease, that number should be negative. So here's an example problem. After 50 kbp was used on the radiograph, the technologist changed the kbp to 60 for the following exposure. What was the percentage of increased? So we're going from uh, 50 to 60 kb, so we're going to take the new number. All right, so we're going from 50 to 60 kb. We're going to be taking the new number, which is 60, minus the old, which is 50, over the old, which is 50, times 100. So this one's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be uh, 10 over 50, uh, which is basically 1 fifth or 0.2 times 100 equals 20%. That's our percent of increase. So not too bad, right? Um, let's look at one more example problem. Uh, radiographer changed the mass value from 90 to 64 to reduce the radiographic density. What was the percentage of change? All right, so same formula, new minus old over old times 100. New number is 64 minus old is 90 over old. times 100. And don't be afraid to pull out your calculator. So 64 minus 90 is negative 26 over 90. I'm going to do that times 100. All right, so we take our negative 26 and divide that by 90 is negative 0.28 just going to write that negative 0.28 times 100 equals negative 28 percent. And it's a negative because you have a decrease, a percentage of decrease of 28 percent. All right, I hope that helped. This is kind of a quick, simple tutorial, but uh, you know, I think it can kind of uh, help you prevent some problems later when you're doing some math on more complex problems. All right, thanks again for watching.